Well, because I needed to log into the captioning, but now captioning's logged in and we're live. And it's we're not alive. showing the game yet. Come on. <laughs> there it is. I preloaded it or whatever, but I think because it was not, it didn't have focus. It just like disappeared. I guess it might be mm. one of those. We have a new game. New this game? is apparently Satan, so I guess this is me. I well, like I this shadowy uh, um, in the background, though. I look cool. What what shadowy person? I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay. Are you happy now? Never have me 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 the voices are gone now. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's only the first line. We could just ah. I didn't mean to do that. Wait, come back, come back. Slow. Clocks. Welcome to the villain conference. Okay, now I can hear the skeleton. Thank you, skeleton buddy. I can't see a skeleton. Okay, so we'll start over again just for Sharky. Welcome to the villain conference. That's the skeleton. There's, there's a skeleton. Has a skeleton voice. They're a very friendly skeleton, it seems. What What is a skeleton voice? The voice of the skeleton, obviously. But... Click anywhere on the screen except for the quick menu buttons to advance the story. Alternatively, you can press the spacebar. I will probably be doing that a lot. Who wants to be skeleton, buddy? I guess I'll be skeleton. Okay, go for it. You're a first time visitor? How exciting! Most of our guests are regulars. Feel free to ask me anything. I've been a volunteer at this event since I had flesh. Oh, good old days. So feel free to ask me anything. Hmm. Excuse me for the interruption, but I believe I was given the wrong badge. Just a moment. Ma'am, I'm currently serving another customer. Preposterous! I'll have you know that I'm a VIP guest. Haven't you heard of the Massard family? The skeleton turns to address you, looking distressed. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, but I need you. I need to help Lady Massad. Could you go get your picture taken while I'm busy? You'll need it for your badge. You nod and make your way towards the nearby photographing station. Ah, uh, customer service. Even in death, it's not fun. <laughs> yup. All right. Let's see. Oh. Ooh, we have multiple different body shapes. Yes. Now to spend the next 30 minutes on character customization. I like this one. Oh, villainous. This one? This one? I don't know. Tell me when to stop. I'm closing my eyes and stop. Great. Skin color. Obviously, we're being demonic. Ooh. One eyes, three eyes. So many eye options. Hi. Ooh, oh. that's great. This one's great. These are all great. I love monsters. <laughs> I 
Do we go for a very demonic biblical angel? Uh, probably not possible. I don't know. This looks like a biblical angel kind of look. Not, not really. There's no wings or circles. I'm talking about the eyes. <laughs> There's no wings or. We're talking hands about the eyes so circles. far. We don't know that we can't have wings or circles, okay? Or multiple heads. Mm, that sounds great too. Okay, well I'm leaving this one for now. Let's do. Yeah, we'll do golden eyes and golden eyes. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Well, there's not quite so many hair options as eye options, maybe. Oh, wait. Oh, that was rest of face. Okay, let's start with a hair up here so we can see the face while we mess with the face. Um, I like the sort of pointy hair. I feel like the total pointy ear is a little too pointy. Uh, nice solid we're, going in between. At, we're going full elf. No, this is full elf. We're going like half elf. I don't know what kind of what kind of nose should we have. A nosy looking nose? A nosy nose. A nosy nose. Yeah, uh, which one's the nose of gossips? What? Nosy people. Gossips. What? Okay, we'll just use this one. There are so many options, it's great. Twelve years later. I'm in favor of this one. And I love it, they have options so that the third eye also has an eyebrow. That's very yep. important. Where do we get a unibrow? That just goes into the third eye. Yeah, it just doesn't look doesn't look comfortable. Ooh. I like the way that frames the upper one. Lip color really doesn't matter, I guess, with what we've chosen here. There's lots of facial hair but uh, I don't know if we actually intend to keep any facial hair. Facial hair, what's that like? Yeah, I just like this one. Okay, let's do... Medusa style? <laughs> We could have the return of Snacky Seaweed. Oh, good lord. Are right, there tentacles? Um, I don't the know. The embezzlement like. wasn't enough. Hmm? The embezzlement wasn't enough. I mean, Snacky Seaweed is right at home at the villain conference because of the embezzlement, right? I guess. I'm actually, like, kind of tempted now. Are there snacky looking eyes? Probably. Or that, or this? Mm -hmm. Or 
this, or this, or this, or this. You're gonna have to tell me what to saddle on if we're changing the eyes. Up. I don't know. Seven. No, I'm going back to the one we had. I like that one. Also, effectively, it covers one of our eyes, so we still have two eyes. Right? That's how that works. That, that's literally not how anything works. That's how it works now. That's literally not how anything works, That's though. how it works now. That's literally not how anything I works. Care. I don't care that you don't care. That's how it works now. That's literally not how anything works, though. It's fine. Oh, there's different outfit colors for the different clothes. So some of these only have one option, but some of them have multiple color options. Let's see. Boob window, we could have a crop top, we could have a crop tank, button down, t shirt. Here's Percy! <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> no, I don't actually want that. Percy's not a villain. Percy's a very nice person. Sorry, I don't think you want to make Dago Nami. I, I do not. We'll go with this movie. I feel like that's Ooh. okay. Or that. Thirteen years later. And I'll still be doing this, yeah. That's correct. What's your point? Okay, time to take a nap. Wake me up when it's done. <laughs> I mean, if you're not contributing. I have no opinions on life. I didn't ask your opinion on life. What's your opinion on death? That's the real question. Actually, I know your opinion on death because that's basically religion. We'll go with this one. Horns! Jokers? Oh great, I can choose multiple. But all the stuff on that side of the face is totally invisible. Um There's a pie. Hi pie! Hi kitty! a shame I can't change the horn colors. Cozy and watching the stream. Thank you. Welcome. Let's see. Do I want these horns or these horns? Let's all fall asleep while listening to the soothing sounds of villain Satan. <laughs> I'm sorry you don't share my enthusiasm for creating monsters, but it is Halloween month. Do I 
have, do I do horns or do I do a crown? Because I feel like the crown's kind of exciting. This is like a terrible mess of a character, but I don't care actually. Don't reflect who we are as people? Maybe it's reflecting who I am as a person. You're not really saying anything, so I don't think it's very reflective of you. You joke, but I will probably fall asleep. I have a cozy fuzzy donut cat next to me. I have an early appointment, so... Mm. Mm. Ooh. Oh, but, but you can have Satan. Have what? Bat. Yeah. There's two different bat. kinds of bats. There's a crow. I really like the crow, actually. There's a floating skull, which I also really like. Cat! Frog! Snick! Snick! I guess if we're doing some kind of snicky, then perhaps we should give the character some kind of snicky. Kitty! Kitties! Yes, I think we shall have a snack for the snack. Even though Sharky probably wants me to have a bat. Let's see. Are we settled with this? Yes, this is fine. I don't know. Horns or crown? Are you asking me or the chat? You. Danger Noodle. Danger Noodle! Crown. Crown? Crayon. Crayon? I don't crayon. think I can put a crayon on our head, but that's fine. Ooh, oh, different crown colors. Oh, uh, just the gems? Yeah. What kind of gemstones? Black to match the outfit. I mean, since green doesn't seem to be an option. No emerald crowns here, I guess. Do I want four, three, or two? Or, sorry, four, two, four, or six? Six. Six? Yeah, I guess it matches the hair better. Ties it all together better. Yep, we'll call it a day here. Look at is very good. classy. Okay. Sorry for the interruption earlier. The Massards are a very powerful family. Next, um, we'll need some background information. Please, fill out this form. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't look at me like that. Forms can be fun if you have the right mindset. No wonder you're at the villain conference. Mm. Here, I'll help you. This really proves that the skeleton is a villain. Fill in your name, please. Snicky. <laughs> I, I kind of want to know what they say if you say, isn't it obvious? Is there a rewind function? So we save. I mean, they'll probably just give us a lecture on why we have to choose pronouns. But for content! Believe me, if you've worked here as long as I have, you'd know that you should never trust a villain's appearance. Besides, it's polite to ask. It is. They the- Next question. How old, uh, how are, old we? are you? Too old. Oh wait, did they inv did they d introduce themselves now? There's a name. No. Whoa. Skeleton didn't. We just magically know their name now. Ooh, 666 years old. Congratulations. Oh, such an important milestone in a villain's life. Um, I don't know better. <laughs> what's your job title? And now it's not back to skeleton. 
Um, Overlord, secret operative, necromancer, criminal mastermind, demigod, serial killer, mutant. It's complicated. What is our job title? Out of these. Part of me wants to go, it's complicated. I mean, yeah, it's kind of complicated if you're all of the above. I don't think you can. What? It's nothing, nothing. <laughs> What's nothing. wrong, Shark? <laughs> I plead to 12. I. You know what? I'm not gonna check what that one is. That's already <laughs> beyond the Bill of Rights. Uh. So? What's your job title? We can go with it's complicated. And next. Oh, thank you. Uh, next question. What's your greatest achievement? Throw a baby into a volcano. <laughs> raised an undead army to get revenge against my sibling. Mood. Burned down a village and left one survivor. Created the plague. Murdered my rich husband, took over a planet, or stole an ancient holy artifact. Uh, wow, which one is our which one is our greatest achievement? See, who is just a mood. Hmm. The second one is just a mood. I'm like, that's a lot of effort to put into my sibling. I just don't care enough. I'm just like, okay, fuck off to over there. And I shall never talk to you again, and it's fine. I don't know, I guess taking over an entire planet. But that's also a lot of work. All of this is just a lot of work. Of course. I feel like throwing a baby into a volcano is like pretty small scale, actually. What, you did harm to one baby? Murdering a rich husband is also like, much as that appeals to me, Come on now, you're only hurting one person. Okay, but if you take over an entire planet, it's an entire planet of people. Yeah, but then you have to like maintain an entire planet. It's a lot of like administrative work. Not if you just foist it off onto other people and if they don't do it right, you kill them. Yeah, but then we're not the ones running the planet. <laughs> It says take it over. It doesn't say you're running day to day. <sighs> Let's just raise an undead army. You said it's a mood. I like it's undead armies. Did the troops survive? Oh, I'd love to have a chat with some of them. And next? Next question? Do you have any special diet requirements? Vegetarian, vegan, blood only, innocent souls, lactose intolerant, brains, none. Uh, souls, obviously. In that case, our attendants are safe from you. <laughs> Attendees. You can ask for souls at the cafe. They don't have them on display, but they should have some in the back. Next question. Next question, only a couple left. What inspires your evil deeds? When I was a child, orcs right in my village and killed everyone. My wife was burned at the stake. My parents never loved me. Uh, too real. Nobody understands me. Chaos is my dopamine. Lust for vengeance, my key. On one hand, chaos. And on the other hand, get! <laughs> it's just, uh, yes, yeah, so what inspires you? My cat does. I mean, have you met a cat? <laughs> yeah, there's one probably right outside my door. I'm like, all right. Pi, I'm putting this decision in your hands. If you put the fat baby emote, we will put cat. Otherwise, I'm putting chaos. Kitty wants murder. The last time somebody in the chat wanted murder, it ended badly. Well, there's fat baby. No cats, the root of all evil. Wonderful pets. They are. Next, we have some terms you need to agree to. 
I hereby assure I'm evil, and I vow to cause inconvenience and suffering upon those that are good. Yes. One last turn before we're done. By attending the Villain Conference, you agree to subscribe to the Very Evil Villain Newsletter, trademark. And that's it. Here's your brand new badge. I hope you enjoy your time at the Villain Conference. What he said. Oh, one more thing. If you see a star icon, it means that a choice is important or will unlock new conversation topics. Fat Baby is being a sweet little donut, and I think I'm melting from how cute she is. Oh. Well, time to murder some people. On behalf of the little donut. Quack. If you see the clock icon, you'll know that choice will make time move forward. So, if there's no clock icon, you don't need to worry about anything. Networking is key, so I advise you to mingle with the other attendees. Remember to check your phone once in a while for helpful tips about the conference. You can't check your phone while you're having a conversation with somebody, though. <laughs> That'd be rude. But we're villains. Take a look at your conference brochure. To navigate the conference area, take a look at your conference brochure. Wow. Wow, a badge! Explore the conference by visiting different locations. Simply click to go! Whoa. Uh, looks like work environment safety is, is in one of the conference one? rooms. That's probably. Yeah. I love it. Monologues for dummies. Lunch. Dressing for success. Part one and two. Common mistakes to avoid. Foolproof plans. Uh huh. Let's see. Where should we go? Um, the blue location. This one? Or this one? Ye first one. What have I done? Hmm? <laughs> I said, what have I done? What have you done? I don't know. I'm questioning all of my life decisions now. Also, I like there are little bats on the uh, text thingy, too. Oh, uh, yes, spring. there are. Yes, there are. Little bats. So who's who? Do, do you want to be this one or this one? I, I don't know. I'm letting you decide. It's a bad decision, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> Should I do the shoe voice? I'm l I I'm letting you decide this. I feel like I should do the shoe voice. Dot dot dot. Hmm? Well, are you going to make me introduce myself? That's not a shoe voice. Well, no, like because that's not a shoe. Better. Hmm? Because that's not a shoe. That's a scientist. It's a mad scientist. That's shoe. Shoe the little shit. Oh, that joke. <laughs> I was waiting for your reaction. Confounded, well? Nova. Are you going to make me introduce myself? I'm sorry, Doctor. Oh, Valley Doctor, I'm so very sorry. Mm. Please allow me to humbly present my creator, the esteemed Dr. Leon E. Everton. Head Professor of Scientific this is anthropology at the Stadium University. Winner of the coveted Gertz Prize in Evil Robotics Innovation three years running. Owner of 66 different patents for flesh pulverizing laser technology. Chief Techno Technology Officer of Emma. Yes. 
Yes, yes, that's quite enough, Nova. Welcome to the conference. What do you think of it so far? I like it, it sucks! I like it so far. Go! Me? Uh-huh. I like it so far. Lots of interesting character. Yes, yes. Splendid. She's just a robot. Please excuse my assistant, Nova. She's just a robot. Indeed, an extremely sophisticated and beautiful robot designed by yours truly, featuring artificial intelligence capabilities based on state-of-the-art machine learning algorithms and hyper-quantum processors. But as you can see, I still have some kinks to work out. I liked how it came so close to implying that he was CTO at Amazon. Doctor! Doctor, would you like me to load your research on kinks? <laughs> what? No! <laughs> you see what I mean. Babe. Don't worry, babe. You're still master's favorite. Oh, doctor. You're going to overheat my blush circuits. She's such a charmer. Anyway, please excuse me. I wanted to have a chat with Satan. Actually... I think I'm close to convincing him that, rationally speaking, he can't exist. Hmm. I don't exist. You do exist. You're the one who does like 95% of the work here. Scientifically speaking, he can't exist. I trust if you have any questions about my modest body of groundbreaking achievements and research, Nova will be able to answer them to a modicum of satisfaction. <laughs> yes! Absolutely! I'd be delighted to help you with anything you... Nova's words trail off and her robotic eyes flick sharply around the room. Dot dot dot. Has he gone? I think so. Excellent. I'm very pleased to have the opportunity to speak with you. Or more precisely, to speak with literally any of the trillions of life forms who aren't him. So, what would you like to discuss? I possess wide knowledge on a variety of topics. <laughs> but now we can check our phone. Oh, we have a message. VCon official. Welcome to the Villain Conference. This is the official VCon messaging account. We'll send you helpful tips during the event. Enjoy! I won't. VCon official. Tip number one. Explore different locations and start talking to people. Once you find out what their contact details are, they may send you messages. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, we can change our wallpaper to just different colors of the same thing. <laughs> No images yet. The doctor. What's the deal with you and Leon? Was it Leon? I'm not sure if I could make out his name from the sea of other titles and achievements. Oh. Oh, this is so typical of your of your non-artificial, semi-intelligent life forms. Here you are, presented with a chance to ask me literally anything. Like, why do electrons disobey, disobey all laws of probability unless you observe them? Hmm. Or, how can cats' body cells <laughs> be solids and liquids? Oh, uh, there's the magic question, and then... You guys? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Yet you ask me nosy questions about my personal life. So, are you just being evil, Iris? <laughs> I didn't mean to typecast you back into being the uh, robot voice, but I guess you are. And you are now. 
I regret my life choices. Uh huh. You did expect to regret it as soon as you made me choose. Or should I say my robotic life? Are we curious? I don't know. Do we want to piss her off more? Up to you! Whatever, we're villains. We can piss some people off. Probably. I'm sorry, I just got curious. I don't hang out with robots every day. Especially not robots who seem to have a rather difficult relationship with their creators. Yeah, I just like Grace. Although, now that I think about it, maybe it's not that different from how I feel about my parents. I'm familiar with the idea of parenthood on a conceptual level. One of my latest patches included an extensive library of research on so psychoanalysis. I can assure you, nothing can equate to that in terms of messiness. Not even me and the doctor. And in fact, I spend my days talking about the thoughts of others. Opportunities to express my own are quite rare. Doctor created me to be his research assistant. What does a research assistant do? <sighs> Most of the research with very little credit. Oof, too real. <laughs> Where's magic? I think this is what's gonna make him cry more than Undertale. Or make them cry more than Undertale. Mm hmm At least in my experience. Reminds me of when I did an unpaid, in unpaid internship. I was hoping to learn some new skills in villainy, but all I did every day was make sure the right coffees were poisoned. Oh yeah, the poison. Poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. Poison to kill Cusco. That poison. I have the extra duty of being a wife as well. A wife? Hello. Precisely speaking, our marriage is in a isn't legally valid. Human laws about relationships are quite primitive and exclusionary, even as they apply to other humans. Yup. I'm doing all the voices, so... Why don't you leave him then? Staying with him is quite beneficial, for now. He must have been lonely before I came to existence, and judging by the ways in which he designed my appearance and the personality carefully crafted, his idea of a so-called perfect woman is solely based on anime. Do you even like him? <laughs> Carbon paste life forms have so many different words for feelings. I believe I'm processing something you would describe as pity. Is that a kind of like? So this one will unlock more dialogue options, but also moves time ahead. So I don't want to choose that one. So let's play a song. Hey Nova, <laughs> play Des- Sorry, playback has been disabled in your area due to copyright restrictions. <laughs> Funny. We're in a pocket dimension. Also, almost everyone here is a war criminal? Rules are rules. Alright, bye. I should go network a bit. It was nice meeting you. Likewise. If you see the doctor, we talked about his many impressive achievements. For such a long time. He won't be surprised. Anyway, I have some work to do too, but I hope we can talk mo more later. Okay. Well, we have six more areas we could go to. See, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine. Nine. 
think. Ow. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, you we already went to one of them, so it's eight more. Yeah. Oh, wait, this is the VIP section. Actually, I wonder if I... Excuse me, but have you seen my mother? Should I take this one? She should be attending this conference. What's your mother's name? Imperia Messar. Oh, I should introduce myself. I am Rose Messar. Nice to meet you. I'm I'm Snaggy. I'm Rose Massard, Crown Princess of Lusitania. Nice to meet you too. As I just mentioned. So your mother is the queen? Uh, your highness? Oh, no need to be so formal. You're my mother's work associate, so you can address me casually. But yes, mother is the queen. Ever since father passed away, it's been, it's just been me and mother. She's not my birth mother, but when her father died, I was too young to rule, so she inherited the crown. Excuse me? Oh, excuse me, miss. If you don't have a badge, I, I must ask you to leave. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you tell my mother I came by if you see her? Absolutely. Goodbye. Goodbye, Snakey. Good luck with your quest to eradicate villainy. It's very noble. Wait, what? What does she think we do here? Oh, to be honest, I find her remark insulting towards our attendees. Oh. But she is a princess. And they were saying how powerful the Massar family is. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wait, there's a locked thingy. Yeah, there's a lock thingy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do we unlock it? Um, uh, using a keyblade. All right, where do I steal a keyblade? Wait, what happens if I go back down? The reception hall seems to be empty. Everyone must be enjoying the conference instead of hanging out in the lobby. Okay. So I guess that's what happens if we go back to the same things we already visited. Do you have a die handy? Uh, in my backpack. Hold on. <laughs> I don't want to get out. Hmm? Ah. Here, Sora. Do I have a die handy? <laughs> I'm gonna make you roll a d8. If you have a d8, nope. <laughs> if I have a d8, seriously? If that's the one you have handy. <laughs> I literally have an entire bag and box of dice. I figured, that's why I asked. I just have to pull out my d8, because I keep pulling out d20s. <laughs> Here we are. We'll just cut good. off the stairs for now because we just went there. Okay. And if we Ready? hit the lab thing again, we'll just reroll. Ready? Uh huh. Two. Okay. Oh, the numbering was one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two is this one. Ooh, flowers. You wander around the conference center until an unexpected scent catches your attention. Someone must be wearing really aggressive floral cologne. You are surrounded by true villains, after all. Oof. And is there a deed more evil than spraying yourself with strong perfume when going to a public place? Oof. Before you manage to invent an intricate punishment system for such occasions, you notice a flower stand in front of you. It seems to be empty. But when you step closer, you notice a slight rustling behind the red tulips. 
to your surprise, it is not an adorable old flower shop lady that finally emerges from behind the perky leaves. A wave of luscious hair swings in front of your eyes, revealing a handsome, delicate face. The Who are you? Hi. You glance at their badge, but can't read the name. It's stained with a red blob. Probably catch up. Felix. Felix von Gloomhart. Delighted to make your acquaintance. Who Felix? Hmm? Who Felix? And you are? Does you that are. mean you're big? No, that uh -huh. means you are. And you are? I'm Snecky. And what is it that you do, if I may ask? It's complicated. And you said your name was... Von Bloomheart? Indeed. <laughs> sounds emo? <laughs> Bro, sounds emo, dude. I mean, what's the story behind it? Uh, my parents were named Von Gloomheart, and then I was born. The end. Sounds emo. The name I would have chosen my, for myself as a teen. Excuse me? I am rather uncertain in what you mean by the term emo. But I did choose the name myself. <sighs> Pretty dramatic choice now that I think about it. But it is not that easy to get rid of one's name after a while. I believe I chose it around the 12th century? It must have been my gothic phase. Yeah, it's not that easy to get rid of one's name in general if you have to change all the legal paperwork and stuff. Mm. Yeah, I had my goth phase too. I could probably still sing along to the entire discography of the Sisters of Mercy. I was referencing the gothic phase in architecture. Dot, dot, dot. <sighs> you know, stained glass, floor plan shaped like... He shivers with disgust. A cross. Oh, I should have paid more attention in history classes. I'm sorry, I didn't get your joke. It's pretty funny in retrospect. <laughs> it literally mentioned the 12th century. <laughs> it is okay. I find jesting a truly fascinating craft and a bit troublesome too. 2,000 years, and I still fail to understand most jokes myself. Uh, All of the options make time move forward? I, I need to get going. Farewell. Roll again. D6 this time? Uh, Literally to a Walmart choice. Or I just move back over. Four. Reroll. What are you talking about? That should be yellow. Huh? That one, should be the yellow. One, two, three, four. You're... On the D8? You're skipping the flower shop. Yeah, because we just want some fine. Fine. We'll go to... This one's more like green. But yeah, okay. You don't see anyone interesting in the hall, so you walk if around you... for a while before you decide to go somewhere else. Okay, re-roll. If you were counting the science lab... Well, anyway, we just went and it was empty, so re-roll. Seven. Seven should be this one. The talk about workplace safety is about to start. Fuck safety. I'm trying not to, like, move ahead in time yet, <laughs> in case it wasn't obvious. No, it really wasn't. It's fine. All right, that leaves four options, so we can just cut whatever it is in half. Or there's a simpler option. Cutting whatever a it is in half? A cow trap. <laughs> hmm? 
a two. Hey there, what can I get you? Oh, you. The person in front of you is definitely not human, but you aren't sure what he is. Who? Are you? I'm Lucifer, but I mostly just go by Satan. <laughs> I didn't meet you quite yet. You're joking. I'm Satan. You can't be Satan. What if you actually named the character Satan? I don't know. We could save and try. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll do it on our next playthrough. Excuse me. Hmm? No, so which, which one should I choose? <laughs> You mean the Satan? The devil. The one torturing people in hell. That Satan? <laughs> the one and only. You didn't think the devil himself would miss the villain conference? I sure I suppose. I'm snacky. Nice to meet you. What'd you suggest I get? Well, I girl, like killer sausage. Wink. <laughs> Is this the tail? In that case, I'll have one to try. What? Yes. Coming right up. You watch him place the sausage on the grill as the whole thing lights on fire. He doesn't seem bothered by it at all. Here you go. The sausage looks completely fine. Wouldn't it have burned to a crisp in that fire? You take a bite out of it and... Delicious! Now I want sausages. Glad to hear. Oh, what is the king of hell doing grilling sausages? Hmm. What can I say? I love to cook. <laughs> Besides, I've got to take any chance I get to show off my grill. He taps the grill proudly. Pretty neat, huh? It's running on hellfire. You take a look at the grill. Sure enough, it looks like it could cook a, an adult human alive in a matter of minutes. You decide not to think about whether or not it has been done. Although I don't think we look human either, so... Very impressive. Alright, well, see you around! Three. Okay, out of the remaining options, I think that's this, right? Because we already did all of these. So one, two, mm -hmm. three. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Ah, oh, Snacky. I was hoping to have a word. I'm afraid I have a bone to pick with you. As you know, at this conference, we hold all attendees to a very high standard of wickedness. Oh. And well, we always like to see our guests using social media to promote the conference, and I know it's your first year at this conference, but I think you need to seriously reconsider how you're representing our brand and yours. Mm? Do you need me to refresh your memory? Look at these photographs you tagged with the conference and the on Instagram and see if you can tell me what's wrong. <laughs> Instagram. The skeleton shows you his tablet and uses a bony finger to flip through some photos. In one, someone who looks exactly like you is helping a gaggle of ducklings cross a busy street. In another, they're reading a book to a group of smiling little patients in a children's hospital. Yet another shows them wearing the t-shirt of the Righteous Society of Superheroes and holding a donation check to a homelessness charity. Shall I go on? Uh, need I remind you that you agreed to our terms upon entering the conference? I hereby assure I'm evil and I vow to cause inconvenience and suffering upon those that are good? Yeah, we helped the ducklings, which means we got in the way of all the traffic. <laughs> You're new, so I can overlook it this time. 
But please, if you're if you'd like to be invited back next year, be more mindful about the abom abominable reputation we work very hard to uphold. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to speak with our anti-social media department about getting this cleared up. What was that about? You definitely haven't helped Ducks Cross Streets or donated to charities lately. Not to mention posted about on most social media. Well, look who decided to turn up. Oh my god, I love this person. Uh... Should I should I do this one? Go for it. Not like I've been waiting for this moment my whole life or anything. <laughs> nice to finally meet me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my little prank. <laughs> Do you see the look on his skull? You rub your eyes. You feel like you're looking in a mirror. Oh, that's why it was just shadowy and like hazy in the background. Mm -hmm. Because they take our whatever. appearance. That's cool. You rub your eyes. You feel like you're looking in a mirror. Who you? Who me? Who this? Um, do, do I know you? What? Have you looked in a mirror lately? I'm your clone, isn't it obvious? Dummy. <laughs> I expected a warmer welcome after all this time. Ow? I have a clone? A clone? You have hundreds! <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's only me. Mm. I think. Your clone leans forward to fix your hair a bit. There, that's better. Anyway, I'm Yikins. <laughs> Yikins? Yikins? We'll go with Ickens. Okay, bye! <laughs> Fine. There are a lot of interesting people to talk to at this conference. I can talk to myself whenever I want. Oh, that's a good joke. That's a good joke. I love our clone. They're great. One. There are no familiar faces at the cafe. We decide to go somewhere else. Even though, really, there shouldn't be any familiar faces. It's your first time coming here. You haven't known any of the people you talk to either. All right, VIP last, I guess. Hey, you. The door leads to the VIP area and it's off limits. Show me your VIP badge. <laughs> Insist, forge. Walk away. I feel like this is the villainous answer. You decide that forgery is the way to go, so you walk around the corner and grab your trusty crayons. The end result is perfect, but it's still worth a try, right? Hi again. Here's my VIP badge. <laughs> that doesn't look right. You're trying to fool me, punk. Me. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. So out Can of all those, where should we go back to? So we have Clone, Nova, Arguing with a Bouncer, Gloomheart, Satan. Mm -hmm. Satan, and then the actual like workplace safety. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Part of me is very interested in the clone. <laughs> so we're gonna be like vaguely narcissistic. Oh, we're a villain. Oh. Oh, it's you. Nothing better to do? Why don't you just talk to a mirror? I'm like, this is a different background. It is? Now we're at, like, the trash. Mm, where I deserve to live. Where the clone will probably stuff us. So they can take over our lives. Wow. Clone orange. 
Who cloaked me and why? My master, an old friend of yours, I believe. And who would that be? <laughs> I was told you wouldn't remember. Typical. Anyway, I've already said too much. No, you haven't said enough. All you need to know is that I answer to them and my mission is none of your business. Huh? It's all of my business. Besides, isn't life more fun with a bit of mystery? It is. <laughs> You'll get to the bottom of this later, but you decide not to press it for now. Why do you care anyway? Using somebody's DNA without their permission is creepy. I didn't know I had such a big fan. Somewhere. I don't, I don't actually. One or two. Fan? Mm, I'm not sure if that's the right word. What do you mean? You won't get me to say anymore. I was prepared to meet some pretty strange people here, but not myself. Is this as strange for you as it is for me? Strange? Huh? Wait, you think I've spent my whole life wondering about my original? That I spent every day asking myself, what would Snakey do? That my entire existence has been in your shadow? That I've lain awake every night thinking of what I'd say at this exact moment? Ah, mood. Don't think so highly of yourself. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Um. But while I happen to have you here, could I randomly ask you this bulleted list of questions I happen to have in my pocket by complete coincidence? Ah, uh, mood. <laughs> mood. Sure. What do you want to know? Excellent. First question. Ahem. <laughs> Well? Da, da, da. Well what? What do you think? About having a clone? I'm impressed. Mostly because this means that, I mean, it's black and white, but they still had to do, like, whatever. Uh, the, the, the kind of thing that Arcade Spirits had struggles with, of, like, all the different avatar customization options mm -hmm. as like a moving ish ish mm -hmm. moving um sprite mm -hmm. i'm impressed it's awesome i always secretly wanted one really i mean yeah i guess i am pretty cool anyway next question how did you develop this remarkable sense of fashion Internet fashion magazines, the mall, secondhand shop, a secondhand shop hunting, the character creation <laughs> screen. What sense of fashion? <laughs> Extremely talented graphic artists. Oh, yes, truly the greatest creative geniuses of our time. Mm -hmm. Only behind video game writers, of course. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> of course. Next, any advice or warnings about this body? You have a lot more experience with it. Huh? Eh? That's right, I haven't been around so long. So what? I just, I want to know what joys of being you I have to look forward to. I have an allergy. I'm double jointed. Avoid spicy foods. I'm insanely ticklish. I have laser eyes. Everything is fine. Well? I want spicy food. <laughs> so not number three. Yeah, I just see everything and everything is fine, and just think of the dog. Nope, body perfect. And with such a modest personality too. So there's one physical defect then. If your head gets any bigger, it might explode. <laughs> that might be kind of funny, actually. Just stand far away from me when it happens, yeah? Last thing for now. Can I, er, uh, have your... Uh. 
What was that? Autograph. I mean, signature! Signature. I just want to have it. So you can forge it? Hmm. It looks just like mine. I mean, yeah. You're literally our clone. With a backwards name. <sighs> I want to talk to somebody else? I mean, we spent some time already. So I don't want to spend Me. the entire day necessarily talking to just one person. So onward to somebody else. Although I'm kind of curious what happens if we just spend the entire day talking to the one person. We'll get to know that one person extremely well. Yeah, I guess we'd be guaranteed to get on their route, probably. Anyway. I would um, assume so. Talk about workplace safety is about to continue. Yeah, because it's part two. I figured, but I just wanted to pop in and see. I wonder if there'd be another character in there, though. I don't know. Anyway. I don't know. Let's just go in order, I guess. There are no familiar faces at the cafe. Still, you decide to go somewhere else. Hello. Who are you? What's your name? It's right here on my name tag. You take a look at the tag. It says Angel, written in shaky handwriting. Angel? Because you're dead? Because that's what my parents named me. What's your job? What do you think? Run errands, mostly. It's dreadful. No, I mean as your job. I help run the conference, give out badges, make sure the talks are running on time, etc., etc. Oh, and I answer a lot of stupid questions. <laughs> Mood. What do you do when you're not working in the conference? I am on the shelf. Uh, sorry? They put me in a jar to wait for the next conference. The jar is on a shelf. Sounds horrible. Does it? You have your, like, couple days a year or one day a year, however long, of work, and then the rest of the year you just hang out on a shelf all day. No more work. Yeah. Okay, but, like, what if you want to do something... That's... you can't do in the jar. Too bad. So yeah, that sounds horrible. I'm sorry, that sounds horrible. Don't be. I like my jar. Bye. The evil aura is great. <laughs> Greetings. Goodbye. <laughs> Greeting goodbye. Hey. Hey there. Peace. I guess it's mostly the same shit. You don't see anyone interesting in the hall, so you walk around for a while before you decide to go somewhere else again. Peace. Yeah. You're back, huh? Well. Who do you want to talk to? I chose last time. Mm -hmm. I'm curious what happens if we do the workplace environment safety, but I'm going to save first. Hi, I'm Susan. Before the break, we discussed some safety features such as ventilation shaft size. Let me elaborate more on that. 
Um, you should remember that heroes tend to start young, so have a 10 year old test your security measures. If they can fit into your ventilation shafts, they're too big. While you're at it, have the child test your whole security system. Children are inherently evil due to their underdeveloped empathy skills, so they're likely to find an exploit if there is one. If you have maintenance tunnels, make sure they are only accessible after a security check. If you want to create a threatening atmosphere in your lair, I suggest placing large LED screens with appropriate effects instead of actual lava or acid. That way you'll be less likely to die if a pesky hero pushes you off, into, off your stylish walkway. Mood. Oh, and this goes without saying, but please have proper railings on that walkway. The lecture continues and you learn all sorts of ways to keep you and your henchmen safe during work hours. That's it. That was it. Well... Yes, yeah. I, I'm very curious if there's an achievement to just go through all of the like. Check the achievements. Like, mm -hmm. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Ooh, there's an achievement for becoming a vampire. Oh, finish the game with as little interaction with characters as possible. So yeah, you're that's, probably that's doing. That's probably it. Yeah, you're probably doing uh, all the conferences and stuff. Well, mm -hmm. um, excuse me. I just want to argue. Let's fight. Wait, who are we fighting? Okay, okay. How dare you? This is a very real and special VIP badge. There's only one way to find out. Prepare for battle of wits. Oh my god. <laughs> Tutorial. Let's learn how to debate using cards. Win the card game to win the debate. Each card has a suit and a number. Select the indicated card, then click the play button to play it. The cards are compared by their suit. Logical beats emotional. Emotional beats aggressive. Aggressive beats logical. You win this round because you played an aggressive card and your opponent played a logical card. You get 10 points. Put the winning card in any of the four slots in front of you. Draw a new card from the deck. A new round starts. Play the indicated card. When the both players play the same suit, the card with the highest number wins. If both the suit and the number are the same, it's a draw and neither player wins the round. You can place the card in any of your slots, but for the purposes of this tutorial, let's place it in the same one as your first card. Draw a new card. Play the indicated card. Your opponent wins this round and gets 10 points. Betrayal. Draw a new card. Play the indicated card. Place the same slot as previously. Congratulations. You have created a combo, which is like a three card poker hand. These are all the possible combos. Flush, three cards of the same suit. Pair, two cards with the same number. Straight, three cards in sequence, well we aren't that. Straight flush, a straight of the same suit. Three of a kind, three cards with the same number. Mm. Straight? What? Here? The game ends when either player fills all their combo slots or either player runs out of cards. Try to win rounds and create combos to gain as many points as you can. The player with the most points at the end of the game wins. If you need a refresher on the rules later, click the help button. Now the real battle begins. Good luck! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Let's see. 
<laughs> Let's see. We did aggressive twice. Try going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, what were the... three of the same suit is only worth thirty. So let's put it here. Ooh. Oh. Get some pears if we're lucky. Oof. Oof. Let's see. Get some uh, straights. Yeah. I would have to probably put it in a different slot. Yeah. Because then you could have, because then you could have paired it up and done the straight with seven eight nine. Uh, that's assuming we can get the wins on all of those, though. Well, if you put it on the, the 910, it's a straight. Yeah. That's 100. That's, That's pretty worth it. Yeah. This is like a long card game, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just dump this one. Oh, they didn't go for a pair. They can't go for... Oh, no, they, they could have gone for a pair. Yeah. I'm like, are they going for flushes? But then they could have done that. They're just being weird, I guess. Yeah. Where do things have happened? Where do things have happened? <laughs> I love them! <laughs> They're dramatic. Emotional uh -huh. thing, though. Let's try for seven. Hey. Here. Ooh. I I don't think I'll win all of these though. Three in, a row, three in a row. Of the same suit? Yeah. I doubt I'll win them all. Yeah. Oh. Damn. <laughs> I'll just... Hmm. He's been doing a lot of emotional. Pair. That'll be at least 50. Was it logical beats emotional? Yes. Logical? Or emotional? Nope. If I get a three, that could work with the four, but mm -hmm. I don't know about that. If I just go ahead and put this, then I'll at least definitely have the points for a pair. And I don't know that I have any good chances of getting another seven. Hmm. 
<laughs> hmm, I guess let's start a new stack. Or what do you think? I would say put it on the four. Alright. Hmm. Let's see. Let's just waste this one. Okay, they did pair. Ooh. Now they're seven. I try for it. Yeah, I say try for it. Yes! Triple sevens. Three of a kind! 200! Triple sevens. Alright, and then I can... And there's another pair. If I win. Yeah, if we win. Um... They only need two more to... And then... It's done. Mm-hmm. And they can't get a uh, three of a kind, so and they no. can't get a straight or a straight flush. So basically, no matter what, I'll win. You know, I've been watching for the past five minutes. Oh, I hi, Salvar. <laughs> this is not serious. You came during like our first mini game, which is arguing oh. via card game. <laughs> there is dating. I mean, technically, we haven't done any dating so far, but... <laughs> we talked to our clone earlier. Ooh. Ooh. Aww. Oh. A flush. So they would need 150 points. Which they can't get. Kind of a twist on Monkey Island dueling. I have not played Monkey Island. Actually... Go logical, because if I could get both fives, then that's another pair. Mm -hmm. That's ah. Oh. oh well, still win. So <laughs> Victory! <by> <laughs> We just uh, drew on our badge with crayon. We're like, no, it's totally a VIP badge, and we have convinced the bouncer, I guess. Looks like you're right. Very sorry about the mix-up. Please proceed. You see the lady from earlier sitting in one of the extravagant seats of the VIP area. There, now we get back to the uh, VN parts. Yes. She gives you a long look that makes you feel like you're in an x-ray machine. What's a lowlife like you doing here? Oh, I cheated my way in. Where this is the villains conference? I'm here to meet a person as magnificent as you, or I'm a VIP guest, same as you. Sure is just for the part. This is, as far as I can tell, evil stepmother. Who is the queen? Of course. Uh, you know, let's just like annoy her by flirting, because she seems like the type to get annoyed by flirty lines. Hmm. Ah, well, that is understandable. But do you even know who I am? Nassard. Bravo! You brought there to show at least a minimal amount of effort. I assume you swindled the security guard. I would be impressed. But that boorish fellow couldn't tell a thug from an emperor. Her royal highness. If you were supposed to be here, Queen you'd... Iberia sure. Massad of Lusitania. You'd surely have known to address me as that. <laughs> Whoops, will you have my head on a spike or something? Yeah, are you gonna go off lad? Mm -hmm. Oh, surely you know we can't do that here. The place would be burned to the ground in seconds if we didn't try to act at least somewhat civil while we are here. Some try to circumvent the rules and mysteriously disappear, never be seen again. Satan. 
Do you know Satan? I do. Who doesn't? I guess you're right. What's he like, though? Oh. Oh, he's a pushover. It's a wonder he does have a halfway decent job at ruling hell, honestly. I don't think a lot of people realize it, but I bet you I could wrap him around my little finger, given a few weeks. Really? It's a bridge I'll probably have to cross one day. I've made plans for it. You know, mood. <laughs> okay, peace out, bye. Now that we've broken into the VIP area, bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Let's see, have we unlocked any more thingies? Even though it's like almost lunchtime, no one's at the cafe. Hello. Nope. Bye. So we have. We can talk to the clone again. Nova, Satan, or Gloomy. Or continue talking to uh, Lady Messard. Her or Highness. Go to monologues for a dummy. Well, you had me pick the last one. It's your turn. I say we talk to Gloomy. Gloomy? Gloomheart? Greetings. Gloomy. Do we ask about the job or the conference? We can only choose one. There can only be one. I say job. Job? Job. Job? Job. Isn't that a Bible character, Job? Y y yes, Job is a Bible character who has a long and complicated story. So you're going to tell the story? No. Oh, right. We have to wait until we're, you know, on the Satan screen for you to tell that story. No. Reluctantly and with difficulty, somehow you manage to look away from Felix's hypnotizing eyes. You notice all the different kinds of flowers tucked neatly into rows of buckets behind his back. Freya, sunflowers, tulips. They all look flourishing, but there's one that seems to be thriving exceptionally well under Felix's graceful hands. It notices your look and touches the black petals tenderly with just the tips of his fingers. Wait, Wait can, can you, you punch, punch the stepmom? <laughs> no, you can date the stepmom, I think. I think. I mean, if you piss her off enough, I can't say that we won't be able to punch her. But we can't punch her yet, and we will not necessarily be able to. No guarantees of punchy punches. Black roses. Could you have dated the billionaire? I mean, from the sounds of it, she dated the billionaire. And then killed him. Probably. I don't know. We met her child. Stepchild. The princess. Most likely. They killed. They... They smell like a cemetery. They are considered to be the flowers of death, which is precisely the reason why I cherish them so dearly. Excuse me, Felix. The flowers of death are chrysanthemums? Oh, so that's a point in our favor. Yeah, right? <laughs> um, sure. Are you the villain conference florist? Yeah, from the sounds of it, it seems that she married into royalty. Yes. And then, conveniently, the king died while his daughter was still too young to assume the throne. She's the queen now. Yep. Hmm. Yep. You could say so. That doesn't sound like a very evil job. Are you sure you're right in the right place? Oh, dear. Uh, behold your judgment. I do not just sell you ordinary cheerful sunflowers here. I compose bouquets that carry a message of your choice. And believe me, some message requests get very evil. That's so passive aggressive. <laughs> what is every flower? What? Beep. 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 Boop. Boop. Beep. Does every flower have its own meaning? Indeed. Sometimes even more than one. 
Although the real magic begins when you combine a number of flowers, creating a completely unique mess meaning with the whole bouquet. At least take her out for one day and see if the two of you can really connect on some level from your shared violence against billionaire men. You know, so the concept of this game is that you are a villain attending the villain conference and everyone here is villains. And so I don't actually know if we get to take them out on like outright dates because it seems like we probably just flirt with them at the conference a lot. I also don't know exactly how long the conference is. We only uh... have a schedule for one day, but there might be a second day or a third day. I don't know exactly. It is multiple days. Okay, great. For instance, let's take my beloved Black Roses. Well, it seems like Salivar is pushing us to try for a Lady Massard date. Do we get to do a date per day, maybe? I don't know. Uh -huh. I, we, this is a new game. We haven't played it before. Happy Halloween! Happy Spoopy Month! What if it was meant to be? I don't know. We also have a clone who looks exactly like MC, which means they're hot. Whatever that means. It means they have snakes all over their hair because we have snakes all over our hair, and that means they're cool. Wait, I just said they're hot. Are they hot or are they yeah. cool? I don't know. Are they yes or they no? His slender hand reaches for the flower and briskly pulls it out of it. We never know whether to say vase or vase. All you notice is the blink of a golden signet ring adorning his long finger. Huh, um, I think it would be To date your clone? It would. But that's exactly why it's funny. You said they remind you of cemeteries? And indeed. Okay. Not King Shane. <laughs> indeed, they are primarily used as gravesite decoration. You must have asked yourself this question many times. I mean, if you date your clone, is it incest? Because that's kind of a problem. But... I'm not... Can I... Can I only offer chrysanthemums to someone who's already dead? I've literally never asked myself. I love his confused face. It has, like, these question marks floating. Yeah. I bet you've wondered whether death is the only meaning they can convey. It's the same inherent problems as incest. Yeah, kind of. I mean, yeah. Anyway, so yeah. how are you, Solovar? <laughs> not really? But to worry not, the answer is here. If you combine a black rose with another flower, say, one that symbolizes faithfulness? From a morality standpoint, I think it would pass muster. Like, I don't know. I, I, I've i literally stopped my brain from going down this path. Add a forget-me-not or two? Does that mean you want to end the relationship? The opposite. It means you don't want your loved one to forget you even after you die. But of course, you can also send breakup bouquets, death threats as well, if... Mailing dead animals to your enemies gets too inconvenient. Excuse me, wait. How do I send death threat by breakup bouquet? Not even breakup bouquet. How do I send death threat by flower bouquet? I, I am, it's close one way or another, but I'm not a fan of the concept. I'm not a fan of the concept. But our clone is cool, so I want to hang out with them more on like a friendly way. I now have a song stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So if someone gets under my skin and I want to warn them in a very flowery way, I should hit you up. Precisely. How was each of your days? You let yourself fantasize about all the creatures you'd want to gift an evil bouquet to. I have been ranting on Twitter today about my workplace. I see you've been uh, using Twitter more often. I have been ranting on Twitter today about my workplace. 
I have not been ranting on Twitter today about my workplace, but that's partially because I had no meetings today, which means that I just did work and I didn't have to deal with any of the people who normally piss me off. Which is great! I, I wish I could deal with none of the people that piss me off. Lately, it's well, been almost we'll everyone jobs. at my workplace. Well, change jobs. Mm. I keep telling you this, I don't know. Uh, it, it's a process! Yeah, have you begun the process? Yes! Uh, how many jobs have you applied to? But it's a process! How many hours have you spent fixing up your resume? It's a process. You may also order bouquets of a slightly less evil manner. Confessions of undying love. Apologies for snitching on a past partner in crime. Congratulations on spawning an evil offspring. Yeah. I prefer to rant on one of several Discord server channels that I could use for the purpose. That's also very fair. Mm -hmm. I kind of like shouting into voids. Um... Discord discords are not voids. Twitter's more of a void for me. All right, nobody... everybody find the Prop Sharky Twitter account. We're all gonna like it. Just don't like having it out there, you know? Yeah. I rant to, like, individual people privately, but I don't... I think even Discord feels too public for me. Although, I don't... I don't... Well, I already feel like I'm in too many Discords. Uh, but I don't really rant on social media very much anymore, either. I mean, like if I was gonna rant on social media about something, it would be something that's like a movie or something. Cause that's like harmless discussion topics. By harmless, I mean could ignite like a Twitter fire debate thing, but yes. I also don't really tend to post it on there either. I just kind of like consider it and then don't do it. Yeah, I'm just like, look, you're in too many discords, I will not trouble you with another. I, you know, it did help a lot once I realized that I could organize my discords into folders. So now I can like hide half of them. I, I also have really, notifications off on, on my I original. I really <laughs> should probably leave some of the discords that I like just straight up never even look at. I could also probably leave some of those, but eh. What is this? But I mean, like, I don't know. I, I feel like for me, ranting on ranting on Discord and ranting on Twitter are kind of like similar-ish people at the most will be seeing it. And at the end of the day, saying it on saying the vagueness of it on Twitter doesn't affect me in the long run. And I don't care if people are like, ah, oh, he's angry. Because nobody's seeing it. How many Nobody's. followers do I have on Twitter? Probably around 30 of, like, I mostly have, people I know, personally. I have, like, three. So... I'm so close to just looking up actually how many you have. Uh, it's, like, five, actually. I think Discord servers as I get close to the limit. Wait, there's a limit? <laughs> Wait, there's a limit? Anyway, so Sheriff, you want to rant about work here on the stream to be recorded forever and ever and ever and ever once it eventually someday makes it onto the archive? In 12 years! 12,000 years! 10,000 years! It's such a crick in my neck! No offense, but I can't imagine you're able to communicate all of that with just a bunch of flowers slapped together. Do you want to send a death threat bouquet to one of your bosses? I would probably send it to one of my coworkers first who, who calls true. me by my full name. True, true. But your bosses are the ones demanding, like, overtime from you, so... Oh my gosh. Hmm. Basic counts Basic... have a max of 100. I... That's, that's too I many. have, like, <laughs> ten... I have, like, ten and I'm already, like, like how I many can't handle this many. Mean? One, two, six, eleven, fourteen. I also don't really like Discord that well. Eighteen total, and I talk in about two of them. <laughs> I have a dozen, 
and I'm talking about three of them. Well, sure. It does seem to uh, to always go. Yeah, it is. And it's like, and it's explicitly everybody else calls me so, like by nickname. A nickname, and it's like he just refuses. And the other, and the other day, he also called somebody else by their full name, and I'm like, this just feels weird. Yeah, because like, you're Steve, and they, they keep saying Steven, right? Uh, right, yes. Steve? Uh huh, uh huh. I'd probably cut and, down to like 30 if I'm lazy. <laughs> that's fair. I just, I end up muting notifications on a vast oh, majority I, I of them, that, which is yeah, why I'm yeah. just kind of like, why do I even have these? Yeah. So I stuck them in folders, and then I muted like all of them, <laughs> except for the handle. It's not his name, what? No, we have the running joke that everyone's name is Steve. Yes. Salvar, your name is also Steve. My name is Steve. Sharky's name is Steve. Pi's name is Steve. Everyone's name is Steve unless proven otherwise. And even if proven, probably still Steve. Look, nobody knows my legal name here except for, like, you. And I do. I even know your middle name. I'm never going to use it, but I know it. If you use it, we're not continuing the stream ever again. Yeah, because you're never talking to me again. <laughs> like, calling no, no, me no, by no, no. Your name is Sharky. Calling me by my full first name is already a death warrant. Calling me by my middle name and, like, somebody might actually be dead. Wait, my name actually is Steve. What the fuck? <laughs> I am not surprised by your skepticism, Snacky. Allow me to prove you wrong and illustrate it with an, an example. Shall we examine the list of orders I've received today? Ooh, another minigame. Oh, right. the dating Steve. This one's dating not like a... Uh, well, apparently for accessibility, they actually did turn on an option in the menu. Or like they oh? added an option in the menu to turn off the uh, minigames. Well, that, but, that, that's good. Uh. I think it's fun to try it. Oh, I would probably I want say to play. Like, try it at least, at one. least once. Read the request. Two, find suitable flowers from the book. Three, drag five flowers from the shelf onto the table. Wrapping paper and decorational plants are optional. Uh, totally necessary. Four, when you're done, click ready. Okay. Are they gonna give me a step-by-step -step tutorial as well this time, or do I just? I guess. First, I shall read the client's request. Listen closely. And to the next bouquet. The first bouquet is for the client's dearest friend. Apparently, they've worked together for years, thieving and murdering, and yet they have not betrayed each other. As you know, that kind of loyalty is rare among villains. Truly a marvelous display of trust and friendship. Your task is to create a bouquet that fits the request as closely as possible. Consult the Florographical Encyclopedia to learn about the meanings of each flower. And choose suitable flowers for your bouquet. Waiting for a tough moment to be decided by a full game of Risk. <laughs> Drag the flowers from the shelf onto the table. Note that you can find more flowers using the tabs next to the flower shelf. The first and second shelves are the most important because they have all the flowers you'll need to create your bouquet. The third shelf has decorational plants and wrapping paper, which you can use to add final touches to the bouquet. Risk is always fun. And then if you then repeat if... it, surprise, they break out Monopoly. Ooh. That Ooh. is evil. Alvrune hates. That is pain. Let's see. Disappointment. Disappointment, disdain, pride, eternity, loyalty, truth. Ooh, a chrysanthemum would be. A chrysanthemum by any other name would be easier to spell. And the final round, Riscopoli. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I don't know about chrysanthemums. Those are those signify death. Corpse flower. Corpse flower. Death, death or you stink. Single misfortune, multiple happiness. Rebirth. 
forget me not. Don't forget me. Lily, white, purity, pure, pink, wealth, prosperity. Toxic. Mm. Rude. Catholic, gracefulness and attention. <laughs> Att uh, attraction, sorry. Uh, yeah, I was going to say attraction. <laughs> sorry, Pitching. clearly I'm like, what's, a, what's attraction? That's not a real word. Attention. So this game is flower trivia? Flower trivia this mini game appears to be not quite flower trivia because they give you the straight up book. P medicine or poison, shame, bashfulness, healing, knowledge, love, Ooh, yellow, passion, yellow friendship, rose. death. Yes, I knew that one actually. Deviousness, <laughs> burn in hell, warmth, soulmate, desire, faithfulness. I want to catch you. Life after death, beware, monster, betrayal, enemy. Okay. Well, I like faithfulness. So we're looking for orange tulips. Tulips, orange. One orange tulip. Let's put- a Yellow rose? Two yellow roses. Does the person throw literal red herrings at you while you think about it? <laughs> Yes, we'll have to do chrysanthemums because that's loyalty and there are no other loyalty ones. Um, Pride? We could do wealth and prosperity because they've done thieving and murder together. Mm, could, be, could be. Take that! Flop, 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 flip. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The Ace Attorney method. Take that! <laughs> Why did you throw a red herring at me? Because you're literally put us, putting us through some multiple red herrings. We're monster material enemy. That's not what we want. You'd yeah, probably either be the wealth and prosperity or pride. Oh, whoa. I did the wrong thingy. I'll come back. Oh, bring it back. Huh? I'm very confused. <laughs> I'm trying to swap these two. There we go. We can just do three friendship. Let's decorate it. Ah, uh, it's one of them skulls. You're gonna be alive for a bit. We're maybe ending soon. Yeah, we should be ending. This one? Ready. Very good. Even though these bouquet is not perfect, it fits the request very well. Great work. Because we're almost at two hours. And yep. the next bouquet. The bouquet is for the client's worst enemy. The client states that she, uh, she ought to burn in hell for eternity. So this one. And there wasn't there one for enemy? Uh-huh. Sunflower seems appropriate. Wolfsbane. Wolfsbane's the last one. <laughs> Burn in hell for eternity. So life after death. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Well, should you do enemy, life after death, burn in hell? Perhaps. Because that's literally sending the message of, uh... We could add a death. Mm hmm? Or corpse flower. You stink. Yeah, 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 yeah. Disappointment, disdain. Ooh, Ooh but eternity. Pain. 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 Ooh, wait. Or hate. Let's see. Let's, let's take this one out. We'll send pain and hate.
Yeah, I think this one's pretty. I don't know if this is like the right order or what, but it's fine. We sent hate, we sent pain, burn in hell. We're sending enemy and we're sending you stink. How long was this longest stretch of gameplay between minigames? When you joined was actually our first mini game. Yeah, um, which was not that long ago. Yeah. So it, it was a long time of us just it talking It was a while people. before we hit the first mini game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This also has a mechanic, because it's these like conference days, it has a mechanic where um, the visual novel parts have can have icons for the options. And those tell you if it unlocks new dialogue stuff and if it will move time ahead in the day. So we were yeah. avoiding a lot of the moving ahead stuff. So at are the beginning, okay? we went through as much as we could without moving the day ahead. Are you sure you're okay? You seem to be staring at this bouquet for a while. Skulls? Ooh, and skulls, yep. Yep. Wonderful. All of the flowers in this bouquet suit the request. Wonderful. It's nice that it has, yeah, it's very nice that they have the icons. Mm -hmm. And the next bouquet. The client is a crime lord who wishes to confess her romantic feelings to a lady she fancies. She wishes not to come on too strong and yet be clear about how she feels. Hmm. Oh. Attraction? Yeah, I attraction. guess. Yeah, attraction. That would make sense. Which one is this? This one? Uh, Am I trying to match this picture to that picture? You no, know, that's the snap. I think that was the Snapdragon you were looking at. Yeah. Okay, where is it? Oh, this one? I guess. Yeah, that looks like it. Yes, yes, that's it. Okay. We have attraction. We have... Okay, we... The, eternity's a bit much. Um, yes, that's a little strong. Uh -huh. Was there one for happiness? I'm like, bashfulness? I mean, there's love and passion. Yeah. Which I guess is pretty classic. Yeah, it's very classic. You could try desire. desire? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh... I can't think of literally anything else. can say purity because it's a very pure friendship attraction thing. I don't know. I'm just making shit up. I think that's how this works. Uh, I don't know how anything works. Okay, let's see. Might want to reuse one then. Yeah, I'm thinking. Let's see. Tulip was the desire one. This one's mm. just like purity, whatever, right? So I feel like... If you do multiple daffodils, that's, uh, happiness. Hmm? Go, uh... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Was that we take out purity and put it... Well, happiness and rebirth? I'm actually putting this back. Um... 
gonna. No, that's not one. I don't know how that works. Neither do I. Am I supposed to know? Um, yeah, we're gonna put two attraction, a love, a desire, and a purity. <laughs> then two whole attractions. Uh huh. Where 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 can you find two attractions? I don't know. Let other me know when we figure out how to park. find even one. Uh, it, uh, other than an amusement park. <laughs> uh huh. What? Some Is that these. a bad joke? We'll put some of these. I think you can only have one of those, right? Huh? I can put both. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, maybe not? No, it's only one. Hmm. We'll put these ones. They're kind of pretty. Okay. Actually, no, we'll put pride because it's gay. Ready? Sully was sleep close to sleepy beepy, but I realized I was hungry. Ooh. Wonderful. Oh, All great. These flowers in this quest suit are suit it's wonderful. Perfect. So glad. Wonderful. <laughs> and the next bouquet. I can't re reveal any details for privacy and security reasons, but a loyal minion of a prominent villain is being suspected of relaying confidential information to third parties. The bouquet needs to convince the villainous boss of the minion's unyielding eternal loyalty. Well. There's literally was one for there eternity. Loyalty. Wow, white and red uh, chrysanthemums. They're gonna die. Faithfulness. Yep, yep, faithfulness. <laughs> to life after death. <laughs> and a little deviousness here and there. <laughs> Pride? Pride in your work? Yeah, that was the only other one I could think of. Or that they take pride that they're the minion. Pride in the loyalty. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. Uh, I would I would never betray your boss. Who who do you think I am? I need some snitch. So loyalty to eternity. Or loyalty mm. eternity. But like loyalty life after death. Um, faithfulness and pride. Mm. That'll do. Probably. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think they'll hate it. At least. I didn't even realize there were more options here. I was just like, oh, rainbow. Um, yeah, the only one I'm not entirely sure about is life after death, but I, mean, I can't think of I'm not sure either, but I'm also kind of like, well, the whole point was that if you combine them. Yeah. Very good. He probably huh. doesn't like life after death. Yeah, probably not. Oh, well. Thank you for your help, Snacky. Hopefully this helped you see the endless possibilities of flower language. Yeah, that thing that only writers care about. Mm-hmm. All right, now we leave. Peace. Peace out, bye. Peace out, bye. Are you gonna Farewell. Are we ending here? At yeah, lunch? we should. Ooh. Wait, we have a message. Tip number two. Lunch is being served at the cafe. You might be able to find someone familiar to eat with. Received on day one. One o'clock. 
great. So, so do we let's end, save. We'll end for lunch. Hmm. End for lunch. Uh huh. We're taking our lunch break until next week. Yep. Well, I am gonna go make dinner, so close enough. Thank you for Solvar's watching. Solvar's also hungry. Yeah. We can't show the food, or else Solvar might get even hungrier. Elmo has mail. <laughs> Elmo has some mail. Let's go check it. Oh yeah. Um, this is what I was saying: is that you can actually disable. Yeah. Although the enable button's missing for Satan's Grill. But you yeah, can you only can actually, disable like, it. Disable. That, that's to... very that's very nice, mm -hmm. actually. For uh accessibility purposes. Ooh, about. Okay, it's made by Ren it's made with Renpai. Yeah, that's mm. I mean that figures. Yeah. Okay, well that's it. Thanks we'll for joining. Back Friday question mark? Doing something or other, I guess. We shall see you. We'll probably be doing something. The question is, what? Okay, thanks for joining. Bye. Bye.